For Egypt's Muslim Brotherhood government, more battle tanks and jet fighters are on their way from the United States. Cairo's military links to Washington remain strong, meaning the U.S. will continue to supply the biggest military in Africa even as President Mohamed Morsi faces street protests over constitutional reforms that opponents say hand him nearly total control over the country of 80 million people. Egypt will soon receive 200 M1A1 Abrams battle tanks and a squadron of F-16 Falcon jets. Egypt receives a whopping $1.3 billion each year in military aid from the United States, allowing the country to possess the world's seventh largest army. Frank Gaffney, a senior defense policy maker in the Reagan administration, warned about the rise of Egypt's Muslim Brotherhood, saying the Obama administration seems oblivious to the fact that the regime is deeply hostile to the United States and may pose an immediate threat to Israel. Opposition protesters have singled Barack Obama out for criticism in recent weeks, saying that the U.S. president has failed to speak out against what they see as a return to dictatorship in Egypt, and slamming the fact that he only telephoned the Egyptian leader to voice his concerns over the bloodshed on the streets of Cairo only as late as on Thursday. In 2009, Obama spoke at Cairo University in an attempt to improve U.S. relations with the Muslim world. But the fact that this seat of learning is now the scene of violent clashes and religious rather than civil law seems ascendant in the country has cast doubt over the effectiveness of the president's policies towards the strategically vital country.